Yes. This, the Samaritan brain. Yes, Islamic it's very similar to Islamic yeah. dress. Yeah, well, it's like more than like the Turkish one, I think. It's uh, the Samaritan's outfit when they go to pray, they wear like the this. Brain. You know? Yes. You know why they wear, we call it like a jubba, it's like a, a long dress. So uh, when the Samaritans are like praying, they knee and they bow on the ground. Okay? Yes. It somehow looks so much like Muslims, right? Uh, when yes. they pray, do it, salut, of course. Salut, salut, salut. So it, sometimes they spend like more than three, four, five hours praying continuously. So they need something that is really comfortable for them while kneeing and bowing. Yes. That's why they wear like this. Ah. You know? That's why. But why the, this man is wearing a green? Because this is the outfit of the high priest. To oh, show yes. that he is the high priest. And when I say a high priest, I mean the leader of the Samaritans. Yes. Okay? And this is a picture of the uh, current high priest? Uh, no, actually, the, the, the previous one. But there's a picture of the current one. So yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. And for example, here, you can record this, this is the Samaritan sukkah, so the Samaritan's tabernacle. It's oh. a feast, by the way. And in this Sukkot. feast, Sukkot, that's right. And in this feast, they hang fruits. Can you see the fruits here? Yes. Inside their houses, but of course not the plastic ones. Yes. Real ones. And this oh. is, for example, the map that talks about the Israeli wanderings in uh, Sinai Desert for 40 years. Oh, there's a map of yeah, this. Actually, this is the result of uh, the studies of the manager of the museum. He's a researcher. Uh -huh. And he came up with this conclusion. And he depend, and his source of information was the Torah. Yes. The Samaritan Torah. Yes, I've been reading little, little bits about, you know, the passage of, uh, huh? of the wanderings, you know, with Moses. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is uh, very important. Yeah, yeah. For example, like, this is the place where they have been, uh, like, uh, through 42 different, na uh, different stations while they were lost in the desert. And the most important thing, that this is the place where they got the Ten Commandments at Mount Sinai near Santa Catherine. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. This is in... Uh, yeah, Mount Sinai uh, near this Santa Catherine. This is what Catherine. I read. This is uh, uh, considered to be in Yemen now. Uh, no, in Egypt, in Mount Sinai. Oh, this is the Sinai. Oh, yeah. I read another account which said that Mount Sinai was here, in Yemen. Yeah, but... But I the, think this is more likely. Actually, the majority, or like, let's say, the majority of Christians, majority of Muslims and Jewish, and the same thing for the Samaritans, it's in here, on Mount Sinai. Yes. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, as for me, uh, for example, a from Muslim would believe yes. it's in Yes, from Sinai. what I remember of, uh, because mm -hmm. when I was young, I was taught the Torah, mm -hmm. you know, to translate from Hebrew to English. Yeah. And this is, you know, corresponds yeah, to Mount what Sinai the... Yeah, Mount Sinai is like, uh, the majority agrees on that, that it's on Mount Sinai. Ah. Mm -hmm. Okay, and what else can you hear, see? For example, this is the Samaritan's what's up? Do you know what I mean by the Matzot? Yes. The oh. unleavened bread. Okay, you can I'm just going to make a good copy of this map. No problem. This was 40 years of wandering. Yeah, 40 years of wandering in Sinai Desert. And then this is the end of the journey. Yeah, a journey. This is where Moses uh, died. The neighbor side. But That's Moses, right. he never went into Palestine. Uh, according to Samaritan's law. That's right. Yeah, according to the Torah, that's, that's, that's what I learned as well. There's others who say, like from other religions, that maybe into it. nobody knows actually. Mm. <laughs> Let's go back like, to what we know right now. Everything I'm telling this you. This is Matzah. Really... This looks yeah. like Kubis Baladi. Yeah, actually, this is the Samaritan's is... Matzah. Yes, yes. And everybody uses this bread and eat this bread. It's yes, okay. that's what I mm -hmm. prefer when I eat bread. This is the maror, the bitter herbs. Oh, yes, maror, yes. Yeah, but because it's here right now, it's not like a fresh one, but no, this is but how it's... it looks like. And yes. it's very better, of course, mm -hmm. because it's primitive. Yes. Okay, uh, for example, here, Samaritan's alphabet. Oh. Can you see this one? Yes. This is ancient Hebrew. Yes. Ancient Hebrew, this is modern Hebrew, this is in English, and how the sound or the pronunciation of the letter. Like, for example, this letter is taf, yes. shan, rish, kof. Can you see it? Yes. Please. But we, I will just hint on something. Can you see this word? It means in. And can you see this letter? Yes. It has the shape of an eye. And oh, that's yes. how the Samaritan's language works. Yes. Every single letter represents a part of your body. Yes. In your eyes. Uh, here is um, calf, your palm. Ah. Yud, your hand. And what is rish? We should saw it here. Rish is your head. Here is your head and here is your neck. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. And sheen is your teeth. Ah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, and for example, here's a picture 
of the Samaritan pilgrimage. Can you see here? Did you notice something? Everybody is wearing the outfit that we show that we saw before a minute. Oh yes. White outfit covering the head, and what they bring? Can you see? They are on the ground, kneeling in front. Oh yes. Way. Yeah. This is how the Samaritans' uh, pilgrimage look like. Looks like. Mm -hmm. uh, the pilgrimage is at the uh, at the time of Pesach. Uh, uh, okay. So, so it's on the Pesach, it's on the Sukkot, and it's on the Pesach. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. And there is the harvest. You know the harvest? The, the feast of the harvest. It's printed. Uh, not not Shavuot. Shavuot. Shavuot is the harvest yes. in English. So they pray on Passover in the Shavuot, the mm -hmm. harvest, and on the Sukkot, the tabernacle. Yes, I Three feasts, three times ah, a year they do the pilgrimage. Ah, yes, and uh, <laughs> this is Isaac's altar. <laughs> yeah, Isaac's altar. Oh. Because the Samaritans believe that when Abraham was asked to do the sacrifices of Isaac, yes. it took a place in Mount Gazi. Oh, not in Jerusalem, yes, a yes, right. yes, yes, yes. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yes. Okay. You can see this where you are uh, uh, the uh, uh, Mount uh, Gerdim. Yeah, no, on the top of the Mount Gerdim. Ah. Mm -hmm. For example, here's a model. Here, sir. I'm, I'm like trying to show you the, the most important things here, but mm -hmm. then we will talk, no worries. Here is the place where they do the Pesach, the Passover. Mm -hmm. The high priest would come here and sit with the priest, and he starts the prayers. And when he starts the prayers, everybody here, the Samaritans, would be preparing the sheep, and they start slaughtering them. Mm -hmm. After slaughtering the sheep, they cook them from outside and inside, and you only have the flesh, the meat. Mm -hmm. Then, the, can you see these holes in the ground? Mm -hmm. This is like uh, like an oven. You set it on fire, it becomes very good for mm -hmm. cooking. So you put the meat under the ground and you cover it. After like a couple of hours, you bring it out and the Samaritans start eating it. Eating the meat with two things, the matzot and the unleavened bread. Mm -hmm. uh, sorry, the, the bitter herbs and the matzot, which is the maror and, maror. and the matzot. I, yeah, <laughs> that's right. And they should eat very fast. Mm -hmm. And uh, the Samaritans, uh, this is the Samaritans Passover. Mm -hmm. And it's the first feast and the biggest one, I think. And um, they should do it to remember uh, their exodus when they exit from Egypt and when they came here yes. and to be thankful for getting home or getting the Holy Land safe and sound. Mm -hmm. It's like a thanking feast. Yes. And this talks about the, the split of the two kingdoms. Uh, maybe you know that the Samaritans and the Jewish used to be like one nation, mm -hmm. but uh, after the death of King Solomon, came to take the lead after him his son, Rehoboam. The son of King Solomon uh, came with new like rules and changes and etc. And one of the Israeli priests represented the majority of the Israelites and these two had a discussion. The result of this discussion or this discussion turned into a fight. And the result of this fight, the division of the Hebrew kingdom into two. South Judea, capital Jerusalem, mm -hmm. the leaders are Judah and Benjamin. And northern kingdom called uh, Samaria or Israel, capital Nablus and the leaders are the other ten tribes. But Jewish I understand that the Samaritans never um, took authority from any king, that they refused to take authority from a, from a king, and they refused to recognize either kingdom. Yeah, well, actually, I'm, I'm telling you, like, according to the Samaritans' point of view, you know? Oh, but the history of the whole uh, Israelite, yeah. Uh, yeah. It's uh, like the major thing, it's about the taxes, actually. The fight was about the taxes. They didn't want to pay higher taxes, so uh, uh, yes. they split into two different nations. And here's other pictures of the Sukkot. Yeah. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. This is other pictures of the Sukkot. And uh, what else can I show you? For example, this is the Samaritan Stura. Let me give you, show it to you. Mm -hmm. This is how the Samaritan Stura look like. Oh, this is, this is a, an actual Torah. Yeah, yeah. This one is 150 years old. And this one is um, like about 3,000, where it's... Uh, yeah, I think it's more than 3,000 years old. 3,640 years old, I think. Yeah. Wow. This one is in their synagogue. Nobody can like see it or touch it except the high priest once yes. a year. He brings it out and he starts blessing the people with the Torah in order to get the blessing. This is one of the, the, one of the oldest uh, versions yeah, yeah, of the Torah. Yeah, this is the oldest one. 
actually that they have here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. Mm -hmm. And for example, they have these copies, but nowadays if they want to read from the Torah, they have it like this. Yes. You see, a, uh, like a, a book. Yes. And everybody can read it, opens any chapter and start reading it. This is an ancient Hebrew, by the way. Yes. American Torah in ancient Hebrew. Yes, this is the ancient Hebrew. Mm -hmm. Wow. Well, I think Excellent. the Jewish Torah, it's in modern Hebrew. Yes. So this is one of the differences as well between Samaritan yes, and Jewish. Yes, I learned in modern Hebrew. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, there is the basic or the major difference between Jewish and Samaritans is the holy place. Mm -hmm. Jewish believe in Jerusalem. Samaritans believe in mountain Gerzim. Yes. Okay, what else can I tell you about the Samaritans here? 